David, how is the price of well-being defined? Well, economists like to think that prices reflect the actual value of something and that more market activity and growth maximizes value. But of course, price doesn't begin to capture the many priceless social and ecological dimensions of life. For example, the value of healthy families and neighborhoods, shared traditions, ways of living. Prices also don't reflect collective value, such as the importance of clean air and water and a stable atmosphere and climate. Economists like to call these things externalities because they exist outside of markets. But who's taking care of these so-called externalities? Not corporations or markets or the state. They're too busy trying to privatize our shared wealth. They're too busy shifting their costs and risks onto us and to future generations. You could say that capitalist markets are creating more ilth than wealth these days. You could also say that urban commons are a way to protect the countless forms of value that are victimized by the market state system. In many places around the world, commoners already manage public spaces and buildings and regional infrastructures and online information systems. 